So this is how we're starting the vlog. What do you have to say for yourself? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So she's happy she did this. Um, hi. Happy Vlogmas. We're off to a wonderful start of the week. Um, we're going to go for a walk with Kaya, and I'm just going to talk then because, yeah, I'm not very happy about this. I'm not excited to pick this up. Oh, you didn't even see the kitchen. Do you want to see the kitchen? This light's really annoying. It probably looks horrible, so sorry. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm not happy with you, but you're getting a walk anyway because you need one. Okay, here we go. Hi, welcome back to Veggies by Eos. I'm a little upset by the fact that it's not even five o'clock yet and it's not pitch black outside, but it's dark enough that my camera is flashing this light at me to give it more light. Um, so it probably looks better, even though it probably just looks bad. Yeah, I don't think it looks that great. Someone just walked by me and that was real weird. So long story short, I'm doing Vlogmas this year, but I had already decided I didn't want to do it every day. I literally could not do it every day. That's crazy. I don't know how people do that. Um, unless you're like full-time YouTuber, then I could see it, but I don't see how anyone that's a full-time, that has a full-time job that's not YouTube and also does YouTube, I don't see it. So we're uploading once a week, at least that's the plan. So we'll see if this goes up on the first Sunday in December. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. Um, I tried recording yesterday, which was December 1st. Today is December 2nd. So I'm not going to upload that footage because it was basically six minutes of me complaining. I'll insert some footage here and you'll see why I'm not including it. December kind of came out of nowhere. I just realized today that it's December 1st already, so I guess we're starting Vlogmas. Um, and today, well, I guess I should say, on um, the past few days, my sister and I went home um, for Thanksgiving to see some family, and my car is currently broken. I currently don't have a car. I haven't had a car for eight or nine days now, so it's been over a week and it's been rough. The thing that sucks is I don't even know when I'm getting my car back. My friend is driving me to work, thankfully. I'm so grateful that he can do that because I don't even know how to get to work. I teach saxophone lessons on Mondays, which I've mentioned that in previous videos. So I actually had to cancel last Monday because I didn't have a car. And like, I really don't want to cancel for the second week in a row because I don't have a car. But like, the store is like a solid 20 minute drive from my house. So I'm not going to ask any of my friends to drive me there and I'm not gonna take an Uber because I, it honestly probably, if I took an Uber there and back, I would probably lose money. Um, Cause I only have three students. So I'm not gonna take an Uber there and back. And I have a gig after it. I don't even know how I'm gonna get to my gig. I just had a gig today. That's why I'm wearing black. Today was at home. I was really sick. I was like really sick yesterday. I slept for 13 hours, so that helped. Um, so I was kind of sick today, but the sleep helped. And I don't know how I'm gonna go to work tomorrow on like a regular amount of sleep because I've only been feeling okay after getting like 12, 13 hours of sleep the past few days. And my sister drove, cause I don't have a car. Very recently got home. Um, I have some stuff cooking in the oven. I can show you that in a second. Um, and then I still have some lesson planning to do cause guess what? I was sick all day yesterday and most of today, so didn't really have a chance to lesson plan like I thought I was going to. I, that was my goal, but guess what? I got sick. Sorry, my phone keeps going off. Who is messaging me at this ungodly hour? What time is it? I don't even know what time it is. It's 8.36, so it's already pretty late. This is why my phone's usually on silent. I'm making some garden chicken and some um, garlic bread. This is the garden chicken. It's pretty good. So yeah, I recorded for six minutes yesterday and I'm gonna sum that down here in 30 seconds for you. Yesterday, um, we were still, my sister and I were still at home by our parents' house. We drove back, I had a gig, um, and I did a bunch of schoolwork until really late. Um, Cause I, um, I was just gonna say I procrastinated. I didn't even procrastinate. I got sick, like super sick on Saturday and Sunday. Um, so that's why I was so behind. Cause I couldn't do anything on Saturday and Sunday um, until nighttime when I had to. Um, I'm still pretty sick. Honestly, this morning I felt really, really sick. Like I got to school and I was like, I should have called in. It was really, really, really bad, but I got better and I feel pretty decent now. Like my throat hurts. Honestly, it hurts to talk, but 
it's fine. Very long story short, there are a lot of problems with my car. I got some of them fixed. I now have a working car. Because I did not have a car for the past nine days and it was miserable. Literally, if you have a car, be grateful because it was horrible without having a car. So yeah, today went to work, felt awful for the first hour or two and then got better. So I feel somewhat decent now. Picked up my car, thankfully. Finally have a car. Um, I had to cancel my saxophone lessons that I have today just because I there was no way I would be able to make them with me picking up my car and I feel bad I had to cancel two weeks in a row but like I, I just physically couldn't make it tonight I well I'm walking my dog right now as you can tell um, I have to do this and I have a gig later another gig literally two gigs um, one yesterday one today I have a rehearsal on Thursday so you'll hear more about that later um, so yeah, I will update you guys later on tonight. I don't really have anything else planned today other than like going home, eating dinner. I'm only gonna have like an hour while I'm at home before I need to leave. So I mean, I can't really get anything done anyway. But yeah, I will update you later tonight. I really need to figure out how to turn this flash off, but I'm just cleaning out my dog's mess and watching some YouTube. Um, yeah, it's not a fun time. Got most of it cleaned up. Honestly, she started doing this like um, once she got her cone and was on the medication. So for the longest time, I thought it was the medication making her crazy because I mean, she was acting crazy on the medication and like eating stuff like this is not like her at all like in the it's still over there um this is not like her at all and but i mean she hasn't been on the medication for a solid couple of weeks now at this point i think two weeks so i don't think it's, it's obviously not the medication anymore she's been off of it for two weeks so i don't know if she just figured out like oh i can steal food and it tastes good so now i'm gonna do it every day granted she hasn't done it for a couple of weeks um she hasn't done it since she's been off the medication or I don't know if she's just pissed that she is wearing a cone. It might just be that. I have no idea. So I'll keep you updated if this happens again because I'm not happy. And it better not happen again, but we'll find out. I made an acai bowl as a snack. I have to figure out this problem with my camera, as you can tell. Um, and don't judge me, but I'm putting whipped cream on it too. Um, so it is currently, what, 5.39 and I have to leave around 6, so I have a little bit of time. We're back. Um, I'm back home. It's past 10 o'clock at night. I need to go to bed. I need to get ready for bed. But the gig was really fun, other than the fact that, like I said before, I am sick, so... <coughs> oh boy. And that aspect, it wasn't fun, but overall it was fun. And one of my coworkers actually came out and saw it just randomly, and so that was really cool that she was there. Um, Kaya needs more water in that bowl. Um, two really random things. So, one thing, I got an email from a student, and she called me, like, I go by Miss, like, MS. And in her email, she called me MRS, as in I'm married, like, Mrs. And I'm just like, girl, you think I'm married? I don't even have a boyfriend. Um, I didn't say that. But do I look like I'm married? Because, yeah, no. Um, other really random thing, I just randomly thought of this driving home, like just now, and I have no idea why I've thought of this. I've thought of this before, and my answer before and my answer today is the same answer. Um, I just randomly thought, like, if you can go back to one day in your entire life, just one day and relive that one day, what would you pick and why? And I challenge you to really think about that. It can be a really deep question. Like you could spend a really long time thinking about it. And honestly, I'm sure I could spend hours really, really, really like thinking like, okay, what would be the one day I would choose? But I mean, one thing came to my head right away, and I'm curious, like, please comment below, like, does something, when I just ask that question, does one day in particular come to your mind, like, like that, like, right away? Or is that a question that you would, like, honestly need to sit down for, like, an hour and think out? Um, because I feel like I would need to sit down for an hour and think it out, but both the times I've asked myself this question, one thing came to mind, and it was, um, a band concert when... I don't even remember what year it was in college. Honestly, I think it was my junior or senior year, but we played one of the best pieces like I've ever played. Um, Mislanka's Symphony Number no. Five. Um, 
when we played that in band, and we played my friend had a clarinet concerto, so we played, like, the best piece ever, and then my friend played a clarinet concerto, I'm pretty sure from memory, knowing him it was from memory, yeah, um, and I'm just like, I know that's such, like, a weird thing that, like, that's the one thing I want to go back and relive, but also, like, my conductor, oh, this was my junior year, no, this was my first senior year. I took five years of college, so I kind of interchanged my junior year with my first senior year, but this was my first senior year. And just thinking back, like, that was so long ago, I miss that professor so much. He left my school, and he was so amazing. I can't even explain, like, like to go back and relive that concert with that piece, with my friend playing his concerto, and the best director, and honestly, in the entire world. Um... I'd do anything to go back and live that one day. Like I said, like, I feel like maybe there are other days I'd want to go back and relive, but, like, if you just ask me right now, pick a day, you're going back there, that's my answer. Um, so, it's just, wow. I wish I could go back. It's awesome. Um, so please comment below if you feel comfortable with what day you would want to go back to, and just in general, if you don't want to say what your specific day is just say is it a kind of question that like bam you know the answer to or you kind of have to think about it for like a really long time because I feel like that question can really go either way or um I, <coughs> I clearly need to go to bed and um Kaya says bye she's going to the vet tomorrow um maybe I'll bring the camera with do you want to be filmed when you go to the vet I'll see you on the 3rd, which is Tuesday, I think. Yes. Okay. Bye. Hey, so it's Tuesday, day 3, and this one's going to be really short. Um, you can probably hear my voice. I'm just after talking so much today, but <laughs> my voice is not doing too hot. So I need to try really hard to get to bed early today, and it's about 6 o'clock right now, so I need to eat dinner. Um, there's stuff I can put off until tomorrow, so I'm really going to try to get to bed super early. Um, we went to the vet after school, and, Kaya, what are you doing? Um, we found out she has another hematoma in her other ear, which I didn't even notice, because I've been focusing my attention to the other ear. Um, it's not as big, though, but she probably needs to wear the cone for an entire extra month. So, beginning of January. So, apparently in all my Vlogmas videos, you're going to see my dog with a cone on her head. Um, but yeah, that's really the only update for today. I really wish I was, like, well enough to work out. I haven't worked out in, like, a week. That, for me, that doesn't happen. Like, and I haven't had a car, you know, in a week and a half, so I haven't been able to, like, actually go to a gym and work out in a very long time. And I just really wish I could go to the gym right now and work out, and I just, I'm so sick. It's really bad. So I hope I feel better soon, because I want to go do an actual workout at a gym. Are you mad about the cone situation? Yeah, she's pretty mad about it. Okay, I'll see you on day four, which is Wednesday.